You come up here? Oh, Penny's gonna come back. Come on, Penny. She just wants food. She's just trying to bump you to like knock you out of the chair so you get up and feed her. Not gonna happen, Penny. Come here. Don't lick my wound. Ew. Why is she licking your bloody leg? Yeah. Can you just ignore her and we keep going? Yeah. Okay. Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifting. This is Mid Century Wasted. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mid Century Wasted. I'm Jamie. And I'm Blake. How's Blake? Is that what you wanted, right? I was just giving him crap about not being enthusiastic enough. Anyway, we are here again, another late night for us. We are finishing our haul from the Long Beach Antique Market, aka Flea Market, aka Vintage Market, aka whatever you want to call it. This is part two of the haul because we uh, got a lot of stuff and we spent over $300. You spent a lot more of that than I did. Yeah. I mean, you spent a lot too. You had the easy hundred of it. An Maybe. Easy. Easy. Maybe. Don't make me check my accounting. Go ahead. I'm not going to. So. Because <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> part one of our haul video will be linked here and down there and in all the places. There's also three parts of a shopping video if you missed all of that. It was a good time. So you might want to check it out. And if you're in the area, it's the third Sunday of every month the Long Beach Antique Market. Highly recommend. We've gone twice now. This is from our first trip, but we just went this last Sunday too. There's a little delay in when we back. go and then when we film and then when we haul and yeah. We have kids. Yeah, There's little kids. Is. Life is chaotic. We're trying to get it out fast, but well, yeah. she did, tries to get it out fast. Yeah, what do you do? I you support. You sit here when I tell you to. <laughs> anyway. I'll give you a thumbs up when you need it. Thanks for the thumbs up. The next space that we went to, or that I went to, was a very lovely lady named Val who was selling jewelry. And I absolutely fell in love with everything about her and her space and her setup and her jewelry and her displays and the little cards that the jewelry was on, which you'll see in a second. Just, she nailed it. She nailed the jewelry selling big time. Her displays were so much cooler than any of the other jewelry displays in the whole place. And there's a lot of people selling jewelry, so she really did a good job kind of separating her from all the others. I don't know that I would have necessarily known what space I was in in any of the other vendors, because, you know, they all have kind of the black velvet little trays with the rings sticking in it and that sort of thing. But this woman had vintage silver plate dishes and glass trays and different levels and just her displays the things that she was putting the jewelry in was just a plus a plus she also had a two dollar bin and so i spent my time digging through that and found a bunch of stuff that was only two dollars so you'll be happy about that good job you're getting on me for spending a lot of money but i got a lot of two dollar brooches everything that i got from her was brooch were brooches because, you know, hashtag bring back the brooch. So let me show you what I got from her. So here's the first brooch. This is a tiger with a jiggly nose. So there it is. It's gold tone and rhinestones. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really show you, but the nose has a spring on it. Um, I don't know if you would consider that articulated Interesting. That's usually when it moves, like, but... It could just be, like, a hook. No, it's a spring. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's a spring. But I'm talking about articulated, you know, I, you see, like, those articulated fishes where they bend. Is. This is a spring, so I don't know if you would still call it articulated. I'm not sure. I like the expressiveness of it. I want to hold it back again. Just the, um... Oh, yeah, and it's green and black enamel on there, too. And I like the the design of it. You know what I mean? Like the that. actual, like the cartooniness of it, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I get the Asia feel with that. Asia? Yeah. Well, it's a tiger. Yeah, I mean, I, so. I don't know. Maybe. I like that one. I thought it was pretty cool. And it was only $2. See what I mean? Yes. 
two dollars and then here's this is marked wait i didn't say if the tiger was marked on the back well lord only knows i don't think so this one's marked and i think it says sfj but again i don't have any glasses and i need them i used to have glasses um and it's a scotty dog there he is he has an enamel body and head rhinestone collar and eye and he's super cute. I don't remember which one I found next, but here's another one. Again, $2 for that one. This is a little cameo, but it's a floral and it's blue. And I thought that was just really pretty. There you go, really unique. I don't know if this is shell. I don't know if this is really old. I don't know if this is 80s revival of this. I really, I really never know much about these. This is not my wheelhouse, but I figured for $2, it was an easy bet. It was a safe bet and I'll be able to sell that and make some profit on it. Cause I know, I know some people really love this kind of cameo style. And I thought it was interesting that it had flowers and not like a lady on it, so. That was fun. Two dollars too? Two dollars. We're still in the two dollar bin. This one is an alligator or a crocodile. And again, two dollar bin. It's not marked on the back. Oh, that cameo wasn't marked on the back either. Um, it didn't say like 10 karat gold or anything like that. But anyway, here's the alligator. And he's got a blue rhinestone eye and rhinestone body. And he's a little bigger too, which I like. He's not like a teeny tiny little brooch. So yeah, I just like the animal ones. I'm always drawn to the animal brooches myself. So oh yeah, both eyes, both eyes are on it. Rhinestone, he's got rhinestone nostrils too. Just in case you didn't notice his nostrils prominently enough. They put some rhinestones in there for you. Again, $2 and then this one is probably my favorite out of the $2 bin. It's a, uh, I mean, okay. <laughs> Figures you would like that one. You tell me. At first I thought flamingo cause I saw the long legs and the pink. But then look at that bill. Look at that nose. That's not a flamingo beak. You know what I mean? So is it a platypus? Is it a dodo? Is it a? At first glance it looked like a pelican. A pelican, really? Well, I, it's too, I With, feel like without, it's... Without, you know, it doesn't show the big... Yeah, I feel like the the beak is too, like, rounded at the end. Have to look at it again. And the legs are too long. Pelicans don't have long legs. So I don't know. But it's pink, and it's rhinestone, and it's gold. Or gold tone. Obviously, it's not real gold. But... Oh, okay. It's fun. Yeah. Wait, let me see if there's a mark on the back. No mark on the back. Does it say pelican on the back? It doesn't look like a pelican. Look at the beak. It's round. It looks like a like a duck-billed platypus. See how it's, see how it like goes down and it's like round at the end? It looks like a pelican. It doesn't look like a pelican. <laughs> Pelicans don't have long legs either. For two dollars, it's anyone's guess. Now, this one was funny. You probably don't know who Shirley Pearl is. Oh, yeah, She's, I know her. You do? Long time ago. I like to talk about it. She's a lovely lady who's in the chats of the live sales all the time and has some kind of magical trickery in her internet speed. She is always the first person when oh she God. wants something. <laughs> always. She has lightning speed internet. I don't know what her trick is. Google Fiber. I'm envious, whatever it is. But anyway. Right, as a T T1 line. I don't know what that means, but maybe it's she does. I saw this. And it was two dollars and i had to get it for her somebody give me shirley pearl's address so i can mail this to her this is the cutest vintage shirley pin yeah so i couldn't resist it and it's it's like blue on the edge i don't know if you're gonna even be able to see like when the light shines through it it's like blue i don't know i think it's just plastic yeah, I don't plastic. know if it was like a Laverne and Shirley thing. I have no idea. It's plastic. Yeah, I know, yeah. but it's got an older clasp on the back too. If you can kind of see the clasp. It's an older, maybe add it it's on. an older one. No, no, I'm saying it's an older one. Oh. It's more vintage. It's no, just like the little C hook clasp. Anyway, it's $2 and I want to send that to Miss Shirley as a, I don't know, 
a congratulatory gift on her wonderful internet speed. <laughs> Um, the next ones were all $5 each. I'll start with this one because it's not on a little paper. I just thought this was so different, so unique. They're all unique. They're, well, yeah, I mean, I picked <laughs> unique. They're all different. He's going to annoy me tonight. I'm in a bad <laughs> mood. I just got my second COVID shot and I'm already feeling a little not great, so. You're right. I'm irritable. <laughs> this has like super duper vintage qualities. But my guess is it's like a 80s redo of like Victorian, very old stuff. Just because, I mean, it's got a newer clasp on the back. The back doesn't look overly old. But this has like a cherub and a bird and a heart. And, well, I'll just show you. Hopefully that's focusing on there because this is pretty exceptional. It's got these like pearl pins sticking out, kind of a floral lily sort of thing at the top. You can see the little cherub. It has a little bit of tarnish, but I would leave that to the buyer's discretion if they wanted to kind of clean that off because I know some people like stuff that has the signs of age on it. It'll buff right out. It would, but you know, not everybody likes to clean off tarnish. And then on the back, so it's got kind of... It looks like a picture. Well, yeah. It's like got kind of a newer clasp on the back. What is that? The lobster claw clasp? I'm not sure. I, again, jewelry is not my wheelhouse, but when it comes to brooches, I just buy what I like at a price point I like to resell it. And every now and then there's one that I have to keep for myself because I do have a little brooch collection happening now. Looks nice. It's neat, huh? Yeah. You said the tarnish is at the green? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. A little bit. You can't even tell. But it almost looks intentional. Like, yeah. like the green was supposed to be part of it. But it's not. It's it's tarnished. Now, no, that leaf right there, that was painted green. Right. But... I wonder if it was all painted green. I don't think so. a little bit. You yeah. can't even tell. It doesn't I, even yeah. look like it's tarnished. It's beautiful. And I love the different tones of, like, the pink gold and the rose gold and the yellow gold all together. It's really pretty. Again, that was $5. And the next ones, these were all $5 too. I'm gonna to show this one first because I wanna show you an example of how she used vintage photos That's cool. on the cards. And you see in the shopping video, I held up a bunch of them because I was like, I was wanting to buy, I was wanting to buy some of the brooches just for the photo that was on the card because the photos were so cool. So I just thought this was a really fun way to sell these and display them. Oh yeah, see this one's gonna focus real easy because it sees a face on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, there's the lovely lady in the photo and then also a very lovely brooch to go with it. And this one also has a little spring action thing here on the flowers. I just thought that was awesome. The enamel is like a really pretty blue, which always gets my attention, you know? And yeah, it's just a nice little spring lady holding some flowers. And that cool picture is with it too. So that was only cool. $5. Next is this mother of pearl owl. That's cool. It is so cool. It's so shimmery and beautiful. I know that the lighting in the camera is not doing it justice at all. It's very, it looks very fragile and very detailed. And I just love it. It's got kind of an older clasp it is still the lobster claw i believe but the the end of it the point sticks out farther which i think i read somewhere at some time that the when the tip of the you know the pointy part sticks out way past the lobster part that's a sign that it's older if i'm totally wrong please correct me because i'm really trying to learn all the little signs about jewelry and i know nothing but anyway can you see the you see the carving on there because it's, there are feathers and the eyes and everything are all carved in. Yeah, maybe you can see it like that. So it just has a lot of detail and it's really subtle. You wanna look at that one? Yeah. It's got kind of a gloss and glow to it. Yeah, it's that mother of pearl shimmery kind of thing. Like a baseball card hologram. <sighs> yeah, just like that. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Thanks. And then the last one, $5. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> the last one um, is for me. 
Oh, this one's cool. It was also five dollars. Of course, you'd buy this. Yeah, I this, mean, I had to. That's a you. I had no choice. It's a mid-century cat. Check out that shape and those angles and the just the overall everything about this. Um, it doesn't have any rhinestones. It's just all gold tone, and the eyes are just empty, hollow cutouts. <laughs> But I just love this. It's a very like Halloween kind of black cat look to it too, but I would wear this all year long. So I had to get that one. And it was $5 and I don't think it's marked on the back. Halloween brooch. But I'm not sure. I don't know if the, I don't think the other ones were marked on the back either. This mother of pearl one. It might say something on the clasp itself, but I'm not what sure. What does that mean when it's not marked? Does that mean it's just kind of Well, it just means the brand isn't on there. It's no big deal kind of thing. Well, some of them are branded. You know, there's certain jewelry makers. Like that, Tiffany? Well, if you find something Tiffany, then take it straight to the jeweler and sell it. Because no. <laughs> it means it's worth money. No, like a lot of these, they're not going to be worth tons of money because they're not real gold. They're not real diamonds. They're not, you know, it's just fashion jewelry. So That's cool. Thank you. All right, so that is all that I got at Val's Space. I spent $32 and I got 10 brooches. So it's fantastic. I'm definitely not going to complain about that. I thought that was awesome. That's kind of like flea market prices to me. All the other places, all the other brooches I asked about, just about every brooch was, they were trying to get about $12 or $15 per brooch, which is what I would be selling them at. So the you know, the only one I would ever buy would be one that I just wanted to keep for myself. And even then I tend to, because I can pick them up for cheaper, I tend to just wait and try to find them for cheaper. So the next thing that I found was this bird. What kind of bird do you think that is? Cocka teal? I know Cock nothing about birds. God, I don't I am either. not a bird person. Nor am I. But I know there are bird people and I liked the way this one looked. It's a this I is, see the little horn thing sticking out of it. It's well, like it's, unicorn. It's a, it's, you know, I don't know the difference between a cockatiel and a cockatoo. I have literally no idea. But this is pink. It's got the kind of spray painted look to it. Very 50s look. Maybe even earlier. Maybe 40s. And it's in decent condition. It's got some weirdness to it. You can see down here at the very bottom, it looks like the paint is chipped off. But that is part of the glaze. So that was a manufacturing flaw when they made it. Um, they probably bumped it or something before putting the final glaze on it and it knocked off the paint. So that's just sort of a defect. And it's got a lot of crazing on it because like I said, it's, it's pretty old. I don't know who made it. It doesn't have a maker mark on the bottom. And I'm not an expert in like this figural, fig, figural, figural, figural. Figure, figural or figural? Figure hall. <sighs> Words are hard. <laughs> anyway, objects shaped like animals <laughs> made out of pottery. I, it's not my wheelhouse. I don't, I can't just immediately recognize them. I'll have to look this up, you know, do the Google lens thing. Unless anybody watching this knows off the top of their head and can just tell me who made this. Um, but it's just the look of it, the pink. With the black, it's just very striking. It's extremely striking in person, too. And it's just got... Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, you see how, but it's Yeah, it's still it's glazed smooth. over. It's exactly. just the paint got screwed up. Now, let me see. Is there a ding on the top? There's a little rough spot on the top that looks kind of dirty. It might be a chip, and I'm going to show it to you. I don't know if that's picking up on camera. Let me look at it, too. I'm trying my best, but it's got, like, a little rough spot on the very tip top of his plumage <laughs> so and no. okay this is the only thing that I can't totally remember what I spent on it and I was not filming is that a little rough spot right there too maybe a little rough spot on the um it's just pretty dirty it's on the branch out. too yeah, yeah it's dirty it is definitely dirty it was cool though it's really cool whatever it is even if for... there's a rough spot it's you yeah. can't hardly tell no you can't sitting on the there's nothing major there's no like big cracks there's no repairs no. There's no massive chips to it. It's just, um... It's age wear. Well, oh, man, it is dirty. Yeah. Ooh, it up. Wow. It's got a sticker. Like, I know. It's got, it's got, like, a piece of a sticker on it still. So it's probably, like, a Goodwill tag. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I cannot remember 
Because Goodwill puts on those tags to have... Well, they put those tags on, they have the little, like, slices in it so they're not easy to peel off and run out with it. And it takes forever to pull them off. Oh, they know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Sorry. Go ahead. This is the only thing out of everything that I'm not 100% sure what I paid for it. And I wasn't filming at the time when I found this. It was... I think I was starting to try to, like, find you. And we were... I was at the records. You were you were at Retro Cat's Meow, which we'll talk about next. Oh. I hadn't found her yet. You had gone off to try to find. Remember, the number was like twelve hundred and something, and we had to go. Oh yeah, that's right. All the way on the other side of the stadium we to find her. We skipped a bunch her. to get there. So we were skipping a bunch to try to find her because we knew that it was kind of getting late. We we're getting tired, and we wanted to at least go to like our favorite booth before we left. I was trying to find Blake and the booth and got this along the way. And so I wasn't filming because I was kind of just trying to get there fast. I believe, off the top of my head, I believe I paid $3 for this. And I'm usually, I usually remember things right. So I'm gonna say I paid $3 for this. I'm like 90% sure. It definitely, Pretty good for $3. it definitely wasn't more than five, but I don't even think it was five. I'm pretty sure it was three. The only other number that's sticking out to me is two. So I think I paid either two or $3 for this. But I'm gonna say three, just because. Still, very good, no matter how you slice it. So, I started talking about Retro Cat's Meow. That was the next place that we went. Kathy, lovely lady who runs that booth, and it, she also has an Etsy store. I don't think she has an eBay store. I think she's just Etsy, sure. and she sells at flea markets. She always has such good stuff. She always has really good glass and mid-century stuff. It's always like all of her things are always right in my wheelhouse and then she has a big rack of records for him to enjoy. So that's why we love that space so much because there's stuff for him and there's stuff for me. <laughs> so do you want to talk about your records first? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Blake got some records from her. So I got um, Frank Zappa. She's my Zappa dealer apparently because that's what I got. <laughs> uh, that's what I got when I was at the uh, Palm Springs. Vintage market? Yes, she sells at the Palm Springs Vintage Market too that we went to in January. So Zappa New York, it's a live uh, album from New York. Uh, I think it was in like 1977. Uh, I actually haven't even listened to it yet. So oh. eventually I'll get around to it. I listened to a, a few tracks on like uh, Apple Music, just on my headphones. Just to see what it's Just to see what it sounds on. like. It's really funny. He's really imp improvisational. Imp Improv improvis... Oh, <laughs> see? Words. He, Im, I don't know. he improvises. Yes, he's definitely, and it's even more <laughs> apparent in his live stuff. He's oh. like he acts, and there's like a he has conversations while music's going. It's really kind sounds of sounds like the kind of music. It that is would really be... interesting, and it's uh, uh, you have to be in the mood for it. Yeah, it's, it's not so, like something you can listen to. Every it time. sounds like the kind of music that would make me very uncomfortable. Ah, it's not that bad. He's a really good musician, though. Pretty talented. It sounds he, cringy. He passed away um, pretty early. Oh yeah, didn't we talk about this? I think it's so. the last time we were talking Passed about Passed away in, in like early 90s, I want to say. Huh. He was only maybe in his 50s. Oh, that's too bad. He had cancer or something. It was really, it was kind that's of sad. unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you got this. Yes, I got this too. I'll hold it up for you. So this is everywhere, but it's never in nice shape. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. 2001 Space Odyssey, a pretty iconic uh, movie by Kubrick. Ugh. One of my favorite movies. Can I tell you something about this real quick before you sure. talk about the... So I graduated... I was class of 2001. Oh, God. So, <laughs> I know <what> you're saying. <laughs> my entire high school, everything was that song. Every time anything was happening, mm -hmm. it was the 2001 Space Odyssey song. Like, graduation, they played it. Like, freshman orientation, they already started That's playing it to us. It's like, this is going to be your song because you're class of 2001. I'm sure every other school that was class of 2001 was doing the exact same thing. Anyway, continue. Yeah. I think uh, don't ever play that in my presence because I'll have, I'll have high school flashbacks. Anyway, it's like I mean, it's mint. It's that really looks nice. really shiny. Yeah, it's show really that nice. to the people. I didn't show it to them. Show don't scratch them. it. Look at how glossy <laughs> and shiny it is. So uh, Isn't that nice. I think MGM with Deutsch Gramophone. So Deutsch Gramophone does a lot of classic records. So I I usually. Their, the covers of their out of their records that they produce are really iconic. They have the yellow border and stuff. I always like what they what they put out, but uh, pretty iconic. So I got that. 
and uh, I'm happy about it. Is that all you got from her? I think so. Okay. I think so. I think that was it, yeah. I got some cats from Retro Cats Meow, which is pretty perfect. These are... Those are cool. I'm not selling these. These are for me. Whenever I find orange cats, obviously because we have orange cats, even though these are probably still supposed to be Siamese, whenever I find orange or orange and white cats, I have to keep them. I have to buy them and keep them because that's what I've always had orange cats. So there we go. There so go. these are shakers, salt and pepper shakers, as you can see. And I'll just hold up one right now so that I don't break my arms. They're adorable. They're in really good shape. They've got you know the nice paint like spray paint kind of look to them not spray paint airbrush is what I'm trying to say this one has again kind of the same deal as that bird where it's got like a manufacturing kind of smudge on the front so you can kind of see that right there on the front but of course that doesn't bother me at all it's also got one kind of on the back on its ear but these are just so cute just sitting together and then this other cat I think this is probably a toothpick holder. That's my guess. It's a little dirty. It's got like some sticker stuff on it. Yeah, it'll clean up. But it'll that'll come right off. It's probably a toothpick holder. I so think right. that's the back of it. See how it's got the opening? I mean, you put an air plant in there, you know, you could if you wanted to, but I think he's supposed to be a toothpick holder. It's adorable. Kind of has see. a look like, what do you want from me? You like every every cat. <laughs> I think I paid four dollars for the toothpick guy and ten for the salt and pepper, but she also kind of bundled everything together, so I I don't know what I think those were just the prices that were on them. Yeah. Because I know she always just gives us a good price. She's very nice to us. I hope it oh yeah. So and this oh, wow. was fourteen. The sticker's still on the bottom. This is a glass paperweight elephant in an amazing kind of gold yellow orange color it's not totally showing up there we go you can see the color now and it's you know super heavy it's a paperweight i just really like the shape of it i know normally you see trunks up and everybody's like oh good luck with trunks up that's the kind of elephant you want and all that but i like the shape of this one i think it's got kind of more of a mid-century look to it so Oh, so if the trunk's not up? If the trunk is up, it's good luck, is yeah, what they right. say. But a bunch of malarkey. Well, Blake doesn't buy that, apparently. <laughs> Jesus. You know what it kind of looks like? It kind of looks like the uh, the fossilized amber with the mosquito in front of it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, Park. it does. It's <laughs> got an amber color that? to it. It's in good shape. It's got maybe a couple little little dings around the, the edge. Oh, and then you, I'll show you the bottom. You can even tell. No, you can't. You can't at all. But, and there's the bottom. I think it had a, it looked like it had a sticker on it that came off, but it's got like a really nice, highly polished bottom to it too. So, that's a quality, that's, cool. that's a quality paperweight right there. Trunks up, trunks down, doesn't matter. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so, in Blake's haul in the first video, he showed a bundle of records that he got. I left one out. And he left one out. Yeah. So this is that one. Okay. So this is Traffic, the low spark of uh, High Heel Boys, which is, I think, their, uh, is it their like, third, I think it's their third album. And I think it's their best album. It is uh, Steve Woodwood's, when he first started uh, singing. That was his band, Traffic, till, before he started his own solo career. And then when he got together with Clapton for Blind Faith. So really good album. Uh, I already have a copy of it, but this is a nicer copy of it, so. Okay. Okay. So, what Look did you that. pay for that one? You don't know? I don't it was remember. just bundled with the other ones? Yeah, it was bundled with the other ones. I can't remember. Okay. I think I got it for 20 with the Aerosmith and the two Claptons, so it wasn't too bad. That was a good oh. one. Four for okay. 20. That's good. And then, uh, towards the end of the day, walking down an aisle, and then I see some stereotapes. And so I. Like real to real tapes. Real to real tapes, yeah. Um, I regret not <laughs> buying them all. Why? Because they're hard to find. Why didn't you buy them all? I don't know. I just, I saw there was one tape, for like Partridge Family, and I was like... That was probably the best one. It might have been, but I saw, I always How see, much were they? Five dollars each. Yeah, you should have just bought them all. Yeah, I probably should have. That's okay. I have a lot of tapes, and I usually always buy them, but classical music on stereo tape is amazing, and this is, uh... 
Scheherazade by Leopold, uh, conducted by Leopold Stokowski, Stokowski at the London, London Symphony Orchestra. It is uh, really good. It is about as mint as you can possibly find a tape these days. And I will open it up in a second. He's a very aggressive looking man. <laughs> He's very mean. It's an aggressive looking. profile. But, uh, Almost as aggressive as mine. <laughs> but the tape, I mean, you can tell that this thing... Oh, it's yellow. Oh, that's just the end no, of it, huh? No, the tape, yeah, it's just like the... Got uh, it, got it. The leader. I mean, you could tell this thing has not been played. I mean, the, the plastic is glossy. I mean, it's just sat in a box. And it probably sat in a box that was in a climate-controlled environment, dry, you know, so it doesn't have a lot of moisture in it. And it's, I'm pretty happy with it. I even looked on Discogs, and I think this, you know, people buy this for $25 to $30. Nice. Yeah. Have you played it? Yeah, I played it. Sounds great. Good. So, pretty happy about that. Tapes are good. Classical music's good. Good. So, two things I got two different places, but it was after we went to Retro Cat's Meow, it was like, okay, it's time to go home. So, we kind of sped down the last aisle as we were, or the last aisle that we went down as we were working our way out. And along the way, I picked up oh, nice. a Puda, and it's a planter. It's a poodle pulling a cart, and it's black and white and kind of super 50s looking. And there's the other side of it. And yeah, I That's mean, cool. it's in really good shape. It's, again, kind of like the bird, it's dirty. I gotta clean it up to fully inspect it oh and it doesn't say anything on the bottom there's the bottom and yeah it's a good size too it's it's not like a teeny planter so you could actually you know get a good get a good hardy plant in there it, it's got kind of the paint imperfections again but this one you can tell it's it's like the paint was really sort of slopped on and it was meant to be that way so it's not if you look over here on the cart it's not perfect and it's like it wasn't meant to be perfect so that's just the look they were going for i could see this in um a pink and black poodle bathroom i don't know if you guys have ever seen those like all the time like you have an original pink tile bathroom hashtag save the pink bathrooms and then people get like this black and white poodle wallpaper i'll put some pictures in I've seen a few of them. Apparently it's a, a whole thing, but you get like a Paris pink and black and white whole thing going on. And that's what this reminded me of. I'm not a pink person, but I would buy a house with a pink bathroom in a split second because those are so cool. I feel like there's quite a few out here for some <sighs> there of the original are, residents. They're being bulldozed yeah, every day. Yeah, that's true. They so, are. It's unfortunate, but... Yeah. Anyway, I paid $10 for this planter. I know that's cha-ching for a planter, but I think because of what it is, I'll still easily be able to double or triple my money on this. And also, as we were speed walking out, I saw this cool deal. This is a revolving Christmas card tree. <laughs> and it had the original packaging, which is what caught my eye at first. All the best stuff is from Christmas. Oh, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> Vintage Christmas is the, best. Yeah, it's the best. So there's what it is. You can see it's a plastic tree, and then you slide your Christmas cards in there, and then it revolves around. So I'll take it out so you can see. Can you be my Vanna? Sure. My assistant. So here's what it looks like inside the package. And all the pieces are there. I've already set it up once. No, you don't need to hold that. Huh. This. Very simple assembly. It has that smell to it. Well, yeah. It's got that old smell. Old paper smell. <laughs> and it's got the star still. How cute is that? It's cool. You know what the sad thing is? I mean, really. Is we get some Christmas cards, we don't get enough to fill up. I have a lot of vintage Christmas cards, though. Oh, I thought you meant like your, the cards you get well, for Christmas. I, it, I think that was the idea of it before. That's what the idea was. And everybody sent cards back then. Now we get, well, now we, we, get, get, a, like, we get a good yeah, amount Yeah, we get still. like six, seven, No, maybe. we get more than Not that. like, how many are? Well, <laughs> no, maybe not. And then look, it's still got the... Um, instructions. <laughs> yeah, like the packaging inside has the instructions on it. Oh, and cool. the graphics on there are, are pretty good too. You can see that. 
I love vintage Christmas. I do so too. For some reason, when you talk about Christmas stuff, I just like. You perk up. What? Is A lot it of people yet? do. Is um, it November? End of November? Thanksgiving over? That's why we do Thriftmas in July every no. year. Because we can't wait till Christmas to show <laughs> off our. It's my favorite time of the year. Christmassy things. Nothing beats it. Nothing. Okay, Blake. I love it. Let's move it's on fun. before Blake starts singing Oh Christmas Tree. How do I get this? Sing a pretty good Oh Christmas Tree. A pretty good caroler. <laughs> anyway, well, we'll uh, go ahead and show the last of okay. the records, your your grand finale of records. Yeah, so I went to this uh, one this one booth. These people were really nice. They had a bunch of other stuff, and so uh, they had some record, a couple boxes of records, but they were kind of in the back. Like, I don't know if people walk by and they would, you know, see the records right away. They would see all the furniture and stuff they were selling up in the front. But I got this uh, Dave Rubeck quartet. Jazz record? Jazz record, yep. Yeah. It sounds great. That's about it. Okay. <laughs> um, Thanks for the info, Blake. Yeah, I don't know much about it other than it sounds fine. Dave Rubeck's a great, uh, he's a jazz pianist. Okay. But he's great. I have a bunch of his stuff already. Now, for the, uh, the really exciting ones. These are my, my, uh, I was really excited to see these. Okay. To find these. These are original Ella Fitzgerald Verve in mono from 1958. So this is not like a repressing or no, anything No, this like is that. an original. It's a mono. So, I mean, if you ever heard vocals in mono on vinyl, I mean, it's booming. And it's probably even more booming if you have a cartridge that, that is meant to play mono records or mono cartridge. What but, songs are on this? Uh, Little White Lies, You Hit the Spot, What's Your Story, Morning Glory, uh, Just song. You and Me, As Long As I Live, Tear drops from my eyes. Gotta be this or that. Moonlight on the Ganges. Oh, this is, that's a famous song too. This is amazing. And I got it for... They wrote the price on the inside of the cover. Oh. I got that get? for $8. Oh. This is, uh, I mean, in this condition, this is worth easily $40. Cool. If not $50 or whoever... I mean, records just are going up. I can't tell you. I mean, by the time you watch this video, this record might be more money. Records are, are crazy right now. No, I'm keeping this. Are you kidding me right now? I knew you were going to say that. Oh. <laughs> I try to sell records. I just can't let go of them. I have, okay. and I find these cool ones, and I, there's no way. And this is another one. This is, this is even better than the other one. This is Ella Fitzgerald. It is Like Someone in Love in mono, again, 1958. Original. Original. This is amazing. This is this is better than the other one. I listened already. It's unbelievable. Good shape Com too. Oh yeah, great shape. A lot of companies that repress records are, are are reissuing this. I'm not sure how how often you can find these in this kind of shape. So there's definitely a market to reissue them, and so I think companies are doing that. They're and they're charging a lot of money for them too. So I'm pretty happy I found these. This one was ten dollars. So I got eight for the for the. Uh, Ella sings lightly, and then I got um, the like someone in love for ten dollars, and that was unbelievable. I was very happy. Good. And they sound really good on my. I got some new speakers too that are from the '60s, but I'll show you that another time. In the imaginary uh, audio tour that we're never gonna get around to doing. It's kind of like it's like I want to do the audio tour, but then like everything is not perfect yet. Yeah. And I keep finding and it's constantly stuff. changing. If we had done the audio, audio tour a month ago, it would look completely different than what he's got right yeah, now. Yeah, I'd have to do another one. So, it's not that different. Well, the speakers are a big difference. Because you got rid of the ones that are pretty that I like. These ones are pretty. Not as pretty as these. These look ones. better, I think. Oh, you're crazy. I got a pair of Wharfdale W70Ds. And you can look them up if you want to see what they look like. They're incredible. And I got them on my birthday, too. <laughs> on your birthday? Yes. I looked at you, I'm like, hey, there's these speakers oh, yeah. on Facebook Marketplace. And I was like, happy birthday, go and get And then them. you're like, well, if that's how you want to spend your birthday, and I was like, I don't really want to. Oh, yeah, because he had to drive far away to get them. It wasn't that bad. It was a 45-minute drive. But then Where it ended were they? Oceanside. That's what I thought. That's like it. 45 minutes. Really? That's it? Yeah. I was like an it hour was, and took half. a long time to get back because there's traffic. Oh, they shut yeah. the freeway down. Ugh. It's a nightmare. But I had the speakers, so I was happy. But yeah, I went down there. You know, I tested them because they... Um, if, if there's issues with them and you need parts, the parts are really expensive. That's the only bad thing about them. And that's why 
I don't think they command the kind of price I think they're actually worth in how they sound because parts are expensive, hard to find, and you, you hardly find them in good shape. So I'll have to show you guys what uh, That what has I got. nothing to do with the flea market. I know it does, but they're good. Okay. They're good for jazz and they're good for vocals. Okay. So those records from the flea market sound good on your new speakers. Yes. Just to kind of bring it. So good. Bring Blake back to the point of all this. I can go on. I just ramble. No kidding. Well, I so, should talk to you about it. You don't care. That's true. <laughs> they don't care either. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you care. <laughs> I don't believe that you guys don't care. Prove me wrong. Okay. So, uh, Miss Pamela, if you're watching. Oh, this is great. Turn it off now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I remember that you told me what she said. <laughs> yeah. I posted a, a very just quick overview on TikTok. I guess I'll promote here. I'm on TikTok. I don't know why. I'm 38 years old. I should not be on TikTok. But uh, Katie, Vintage and Vinyl, suggested I go on TikTok because there are a bunch of people who have Pyrex collections and stuff like that. And turns out I love TikTok. You won't catch me doing any of those like dances and stuff or anything like that. I'm showing like hauls and... Maybe after a couple of glasses of wine. <sighs> <laughs> That's when you take the phone away from me. <laughs> Make sure I don't ever do that. So I briefly posted what all the stuff that we got this day back that day, you know. So if you want to see stuff that's like current and not a month later, um, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram because that's where I post the current happenings with us. So Miss Pamela saw this in that picture and sent me a bunch of really funny messages on Instagram about it, about basically like get those the heck out of your house or like seal them up and put them in the garage. And I will say, I don't, I didn't really tell you this, but ever since we got these, I've had bizarre nightmares. Oh gosh. Every single dang <clears throat> night. And my four year old was having a lot of nightmares a couple days after we got these two for a few days. Oh. And then I put them in a box and I put a bunch of stuff on top of it and then it got better. <laughs> anyway, Just Blake doesn't, the porch. Blake doesn't believe any of that stuff. And but, the barbecue. But I'm saying like very vivid nightmares. They're tarot cards if you haven't figured it out yet. And these are super vintage. This was the last thing I saw as we were walking out. And the only reason I knew to even pick these up is, oh, well, first of all, I'll tell you these say 1968 on the back. So these are, these are vintage. I counted them. It's a complete wow. deck. I've done a bunch of research on these already because it's like, to me, the, these were, this was the most interesting and strange thing that I got. So I really wanted to know more about them. The only reason I knew to even ask about these and to get them is because I watch um, online estate sales, like live estate sales in our area on Facebook, where they walk through the house and do like a live sale that way. And there was one sale where in the preview pictures, you can see they had these tarot cards, maybe not these, but old tarot cards. And during that sale, as I was watching it, people constantly were asking, have you done the tarot cards yet? When are you doing the tarot cards? And I was like, why are so many people asking about this? So I looked them up and I had no idea that old vintage tarot cards go for hundreds of dollars, hundreds. <laughs> and this, like, who, yeah, who that. knew, who knew? I had no clue. So when I saw these, I truly knew nothing about them at the time. Apparently the person selling them knew nothing about them either. I asked her how much and she said $5. That's a pretty good price because then I looked them up, this exact deck, complete, same date and everything. There were two sold listings on eBay and they were like $250. <laughs> Tarot cards. For tarot cards. I don't know if condition means a whole lot. Um, at the time I looked this up, this particular deck was not listed at all. Like there were no others available. Wait for me. They, um, they look like they're in good shape, but they've got just like, they're a little dirty on the edges. But they're not like torn or anything like that. But I'll just kind of. I don't know quickly you know suck your soul through the camera here there you go that's what they look like they're 
I mean, the graphics on there are, it's, you know, it is what it is. They're pretty cool looking. Do you put them away now? But yeah, I should probably <laughs> put them away before I spontaneously combust or something. Before like the second floor falls down on us. Who knows what's going to happen. The box is in not the best shape. It's missing one of the little tabs, mm. one of the flaps. But I don't know if that's going to matter because... Were the ones on eBay and stuff, were they in bad shape too? I, I have to look closer to see if those were like mint condition, but I think they sold for that much just because there's none. It's just like a rare. It's just, there's thing. not a lot available. I think Supply that's what it demand. is. So I'll look again, cause it's been a month. So I'll look again to see if there's any currently listed. And if there's not, I'm going to list these right away because Please. we need to get them out of our house. More record money. <sighs> My forehead <laughs> is getting hot right here. So I'm going to put these down. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> anyway, gonna go wash my hands. That's it. Pretty That's the whole shebang. It was so fun. The weather was perfect, which we do need to mention again. We mentioned that in the first yeah. part of the haul video. The weather was great. There were like white puffy clouds going by in the sky that were providing some shade every now and then. It was just this most last time that we just went, it was hotter than blazes. Warm, yeah. So we really appreciated this trip. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Once again, I'll mention in this haul video that if you saw anything here that you're interested in buying, I do sell on eBay and Etsy. I don't do live sales, not as of now, maybe coming soon, maybe not soon, but coming in the future. Until then, the best way to purchase something from me is to send me an email. My email is in the description below. It's just midcenturywasted at gmail.com and get to me that way. So I'll give you a good price if I don't have to list it on eBay and spend all that time and pay eBay fees. That's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Got anything to, to add? No. Say bye, Blake. Bye. <laughs>